Hi, pile three. So what makes you so attractive? You know what? I feel like there may be a love offer coming in from you, for you from the past. Maybe even somebody that was never there for you kind of thing. Somebody who just disappeared when you needed something. Somebody who really, there may have been a lot of mirroring in this energy as well. Um, this collectible coin here just disappeared. It could have been somebody who ghosted you. Um, something like that. We have 1977. Um... You may be a very amazing mother or father, and you could have had your kids kind of halfway turned against you because of other people around you. You could be on your own, working on your stability and growing something as well. I feel like you are somebody very spiritually aligned. Somebody who has been through a lot of horrible, awful things in your life. Just a lot of misery, darkness, despair, hurt, pain, trauma, scars, abuse. A lot. You have been through so much in this life. But you have worked and worked and worked and worked to polish yourself to this beautiful, magnificent sheen. It doesn't even matter how much you have been through. You are so pure. You are so light and vibrant. And you really are somebody who just always tries to do the right thing. Somebody who has put a lot of time and effort, I feel like, into self-love. Because of something that happened in the past, especially if there was a ghosting situation within your life, there is a way to communicate that brings peace. And you know how to communicate in a way that brings peace, that brings stability, that brings grounding energy to others. You are somebody who can see things other people miss. You are somebody who may be clairvoyant. You may do a lot of divining work as well. Um, you are somebody who really is very peaceful in your approach you love yourself and therefore you can spread that love and light to other people as well you are somebody who loves the world around you unconditionally and loves the people around you unconditionally you are somebody very different from others you're somebody who likes to draw outside the lines you may even have played a lot of hop hopscotch as a kid um you may really enjoy playing hopscotch even as an adult for some of you. Um, I feel like a lot of you are just very different from others. And you have a very different way of looking at things. A very peaceful, hopeful, joyful way of looking at things. You're a very calming person who brings a lot of calming energy to others. Somebody very loving and light. And an offering is coming. That's why I was saying that earlier as well we have you are so knowledgeable you love to learn you also love to spread as much info as you can to others as well you are very awakened and very aligned and you know that the best way to, to go about that is sweetness and kindness and caring and loving anyway because you draw more flies with sugar than vinegar or at least that's what people say or with honey than vinegar, I think. I don't know. Heartbreak has been a big part of your life over and over again. Each time you rise back up, pure warrior, so strong it is breathtaking. You live, you learn, you bounce back, and you try for it all again. Always all in. You are somebody who gives your whole heart to other people, which is such a rare trait. And it doesn't matter how many times that heart gets broken or hurt, you always give it your best. You are always all in. You are always ready to try again and to try to make it work again and to heal and to grow from it and to really continue to polish yourself. You are very intellectual. You love learning, reading, researching, and gaining any info that you can. You love libraries and debates about things that you are into. So once again, you are very, very, very knowledgeable. Like I was saying, some people in this pile could be claircognizant, and I may have said that in the last pile, actually, but you may be drawn to that pile. But there is uh, somebody that is noticing all of these things about you that maybe they didn't see before because of other people or because they just listened to things that they shouldn't have listened to. We have the Phoenix. You are somebody who bounces back from anything you go through in your life. You are somebody who uh, 
really turns things around. You learn from things. You gain from things. You come back from the fires of hell with a sword in your hand ready to kick ass. You are somebody that just is very passionate, very fiery. You bounce back. You get up. You go. You learn from it and you grow and you transform into this whole new being each and every time. We have the King of Wands or the Magician in this deck. We have Death and the Four of Swords in this deck. And we have the Second Ray of Wisdom. So, you may be a doctor of some kind or a nurse of some kind in this pile as well. You could be somebody who has a lot of medical knowledge and information that others come to you and ask you about those things because you research a lot of those things. You're somebody who knows what you want and you go after it. You are very driven and goal oriented. You are somebody who works very hard and you really put all of your skills to use to create what you want to create. And you are somebody who, once again, no matter what happens, you are ready to get out there and try again and to go forward. You know that things die off and new things begin. And when one door closes, another opens. You are somebody who transforms each time and walks through that door. You are not afraid of change. You are somebody who is very, very wise. You have a very strong connection with the divine realm and your angels, your guides, your spirit guides, ancestors, the divine, God, whatever you want to call it, you have a very, very strong connection to that. And you really bring a lot of those messages down to the world around you, I feel like, in this pile as well. You are somebody who is very knowing, very knowledgeable, very wise, and also just very intuitive and understanding and compassionate and caring. You are somebody very sensitive and emotional yet fiery and passionate and at the same time still very smart and very knowledgeable. And you really enjoy debating. You really enjoy um, really getting to know other people's views and opinions on things as long as people aren't resorting to name calling. I feel like you have a problem with people resorting to name calling because, you know, what what is the point of that? So that's what I have for this pile. I would really love to hear whether or not this resonated with you in the comments below or if you enjoyed this reading. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile four. <clears throat> So for pile four, I feel like you guys may be very much in the spotlight. You guys may be, sometimes you might be a little cocky or overconfident. Um, you're somebody very fiery and passionate. Somebody who uh, is very in touch with your intuition, with your higher self. You're very in touch with your crown chakra as well, I feel like, and the messages you receive. You are somebody who is very caring, loving, compassionate, kind, honest, somebody who is really a genuinely good person and you bring a lot of protection to others I feel like as well. You are very protected yourself too. Be happy, be brave, be drug free. You have the confidence to stand up for yourself, to say no when you don't feel like doing something to uh, Yeah, you just are very grounded as well, I feel like, in this pile. Um, I feel like uh, maybe at one point in time, you might have had some addictions that you overcame. And some people can see you as very cocky at overcoming those. Maybe you found religion and overcame them and, you know, uh, something like that. Some people can see it that way. And I feel like other people see it as you are somebody very strong, somebody very uh, wise, somebody who really figured out how to get through things and let faith guide you. I feel like you may wear a mask at times to others. I feel like you can see through the masks of other people. Most of you, it's you can see through the masks of other people. You can really get inside there. You are somebody who has the keys to a lot of opportunities, to a lot of stability, to a lot of uh, 
strength. You are somebody who knows how to fight addictions, how to overcome addictions. And uh, I feel like fun in life is a lot of uh, how you feel about that as well. You may need to really work on your inner child and to work on uncovering some of your outer layers as well. Um, finding that love within yourself. Abu Garcia with a little heart. Reminds me of a boo off of Aladdin. You might be very cheeky. You might be a little bit uh, like I want the spotlight kind of thing as well. Um, you may be somebody who fights for freedom, fights for other people you feel like are being bullied as well. You may be seen to some as like a kind of superhero, somebody who really comes in to save the day. And you may be seen as others to somebody who's like conceited. It's kind of a dual thing, but it's attractive either way, apparently, because there's some who find you attractive for those toxic qualities, right? And there's some who find you attractive for the not so toxic qualities. We have the hyena. Um, you're somebody who is very protective, very, um, you may be aggressive at times as well. You're somebody who really likes to enjoy life though. And you're somebody who really enjoys, uh, playing pranks possibly as well. You may be very cheeky. You may be very, uh, you may even shoplift occasionally. Um, you are somebody who is kind of aggressive at times too. Somebody who can be a little hot and cold. Somebody who really has two sides to themselves, the light and the dark, and you embrace both quite adequately. Um, you're somebody who really loves family time, I feel like, too. We have the Tower, the Six of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. So you may be somebody who may have had everything fall apart in your life. Um, everything came crumbling down around you. The foundation just wasn't solid in some way. You may have even gotten sick or uh, really gotten hurt or something along those lines. And you have worked very hard to turn things around. You have developed skills and mastery to... Um, rebuild your foundation because you've had a lot of tower moments in your life. You have had a lot of times where things have fallen apart. So you know how to work to repair them and how to be dedicated and how to um, master skills and how to grow and learn and overcome and how to create abundance in your life again after things have fallen apart. Cosmic Heart, Cosmic Christ. So you're somebody very unconditionally loving. You love yourself unconditionally. You love the world around you unconditionally. You are somebody that, uh, really, I don't feel like you wear a mask a whole lot of the time, but I feel like sometimes you don't feel good enough to show your true self. Even though you love everyone else around you so unconditionally, you don't expect the same unconditional love back in return. So sometimes you might mask some of yourself because you feel like it isn't good enough. And I'm, I'm just telling you, work on unlocking those layers and work on your inner child. Work on accepting and loving yourself the way that Jesus would have accepted and loved you. He accepted and loved everyone. In fact, he didn't like the way that the churches were working where they were turning people away because they didn't feel they were good enough. You know, he brought in everyone. He loved everyone. Love yourself that way too. Not just everyone outside yourself, if you're not loving you. You're somebody very passionate, very driven. Somebody who is meant to succeed in life and to have a lot of success. And you have worked very hard for it and it will come in. Have some patience with yourself, some compassion, some understanding, some love for you. And you are somebody very positive and joyful though, usually. You bring people a lot of light. You bring people a lot of laughter, a lot of love, a lot of happiness. You work very hard to help people repair their own foundations I feel like too you help them to understand themselves better and to look inside themselves better to love themselves unconditionally to see their true self and to see that they don't have to hide it from the world I feel like there's a lot of people here who really help others to see themselves as beautiful I feel like there's a lot of people here who are 
volunteer workers as well, people that uh, give back to the community in a lot of ways, people that do things because it's the right thing to do, not because you're getting something out of it, but because it's the right thing to do. You are a very giving, loving, kind person, somebody that others may even feel like can get taken advantage of a lot by people who are hiding their true natures and you may have had this happen several times and it doesn't matter how many times you've had that happen you still maintain this unconditional love and uh, you just deal with a lot of people that are not so great sometimes because you were meant to come into their life to help lead them so that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear how you felt about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonated, what you might be working on, what you may have worked so hard to overcome. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.